Hello everyone. Welcome to AI Brahma YouTube channel. My name is Ganesh. In this video tutorial, we are discussing about Automation Anywhere practical question for interview. And this is a series of exercise 6. I hope you have watched earlier video also. And this question is most asked question in RPA. So don't miss this session. Throughout the video, I will give you some of the logics how to solve this particular question. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to get first notification to you. Without wasting the time, we will go to the question. Very good question and very logical question of this one. So how to swap two numbers without using temporary or third variable. So example, if we have a, a equals to 10 and B equals to 20, then we need an answer as A equals to 20, B equals to 10. So this is the question. But here one more condition they have involved. That is we should not use any third temporary variable like number, sample number, clipboard or any prompt assignment. And also we should not create any third variable. Only we have to play the game with A and B variable. Right. So how we can solve this one? Very interesting. Right. Please watch the video to get the logic. So before going to Automation Anywhere Workbench to solve this one, we will discuss about the logic, how we can get the output, right? Without creating other variable. So logic is very simple. See, so if we have a A and B, right? So I will take a highlighter. So this is having A 10 and B is 20, right? So we have a two logic. One is A is smaller than B. And if A is greater than B, these two logic, if we implement means our board is dynamic, right? So now if A is smaller than B in this case, right? So we will do first A plus B. So what will be the answer? 10 plus 20 is 30. So A is having now 30. After that, what I will do? B equals to A minus B. Now my A is having 30. And what is the B value? B value is 20. So if I do the calculation, I will get 10, right? So this is my B value now. Same way, so we have to find out the value of A. So for that, what we will do? A minus B again. So what is the A value now? So A value is 10, sorry, A value is 30. In the first step we have done, a value is 30 and what is the B value? B value is 10. So that if we do, so we will get 20. So very easy logic, right? So if you are confused, please watch the video again. So you will get to know what is exactly this logic is. Okay. So if A is greater than B, some cases we will get A equals to 20, B equals to 10. So that might be possible, right? So F is in that case, first we need to find the B. So how we can remember this one? Very simple. So whatever the value is smaller, in this case, B is smaller, right? So whatever the value is smaller, that is a first command for us. So B. So for the B, what I will do? A plus B. The first thing is A plus B for the smaller value. In this case, B is a smaller value, right? So second command, what I will do? I will use the opposite of this one. So B, B is a one variable. Another one variable is A, right? So for the A, what I will do? A minus B, sorry, B minus B, opposite. So this B minus A. So after that, for B, what I will do? Again, same, B minus A. So this is the logic. We need to remember it. So then we will go to now directly automation anywhere. How we can build the logic, right? So that we will see. The first thing is we have to create A and B both. So for the number, so what I will do A, I will give it as a 10. And another variable we have to create B, number B, right? For that I will give 20. So I have now 
10 and 20. So here the question is clearly saying like we should not use any sample number or string, right? So just I am removing for our clarity purpose. So I have now only two variables a and b. a is 10 and b is 20. So now we have to do, do the logic here. So very simple. The first thing is if condition. So if a is number condition, in the number condition, I will use same logic here. So if a is smaller than b, right? So a number is smaller than less than b right so this is the condition so if the a is smaller than b what we have to do the first thing is a equals to a plus b right so this one we have to do so for that what i have to take I have to take the number assign so in the number assign i will do a plus b a and plus B. So I will assign this one to A. Right. So what is the second command? So second command we have to do A minus B and assign it to the B. So I will do A minus B. Right. Assign into B. So now I got the B value. And the third thing is A minus B again and assign it into a right very simple so now my question is like my one condition is ready right the same way we have to do it for a is greater than b right for that again i will take a if here i have a else if condition right in the else if not else else if same number condition i will take it number a is greater than b right so now the same way we have to build it i will take a number in the number command we have a assign number package assign so there we have to build a greater than b means so opposite of that one right a greater than b so which one is smaller b is a smaller so what i will do i will take a b here for the b what i will do a plus b same logic a plus b but i am just assigning it to the b because b is a smaller one now right the same way i will write it here for the b instead of here we have taken b a minus b here we have to take a b minus a this is b b minus a right so now i have a a value the same way i need to take a b minus a for b value right so now my condition is ready so first i have a a plus b a minus b a minus b same way here a plus b b minus a b minus a a plus b a minus b this logic if you remember this question is very easy so now both the value i need to save it in particular message box right so for that i will take a message box so then I will take it as a equals to a. So I need to check the a value, right? So this is a number. So I need to convert to string. So I have converted to string, right? So I have to get it a value like a new line b. So for that, we have a system variable new line. So I have added. So after that, I need to take it as a B. So B value is B dot to string. Right. So now I have a A equals to 10 and B equals to 20. But I need to get A equals to 20, B equals to 10. Right. So we have created a dynamic 
code now so instead of assigning it in a variable as a default value you can take it from the prompt also you can show your skill to interviewer so this is the most important question you can see here so now our number variable is swap without using any other variable right if you see here so i have not used any where any way other than a and b so we have used the if condition else if condition and message box but we don't have used any way other data types right so i hope you have understand the logic if you are not understand please watch the video again again if you have a confusion please comment it in the video box so i will reach out to you as soon as possible and for the more videos please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon and if you have any question and clarification just mail us to us so we will reach out to you as soon as possible thank you very much happy learning